Welcome to this video. My name is Johanna and today I thought I would make some hawthorn and rosehip medicine with you. I hope you get cosy and that you enjoy this video. These are two very magical plants that often grow entangled in one another in hedgerows. They do look quite similar in autumn time and both have a lot to offer in terms of medicine. I will be making some oxmel and hawthorn berry syrup both really delicious and super simple to make. Hope you enjoy. As hawthorn breaks its leaf buds early in spring, we are allowed to enjoy their leaves. Um, also sometimes referred to as bread and cheese because they are some of the first edible greens in a time of season where food grows quite scarce. You can enjoy them in a salad or just nibble on them while on a walk. I really recommend this and I think they're quite tasty. As soon as the blossoms bless us with their presence in spring, their strong scent can be smelled from quite far off. Hawthorn is a fairy tree at the threshold between this world and the other world, a place where time twists and moves differently to here. Their medicine is for the heart, heartbreak and love. It, it, it is used to improve circulation and lower blood pressure. Hawthorn comes from the Anglo-Saxon Hagedorn, or the German word Hagedorn actually, still the same, which means hedge thorn and actually refers to its common use as a hedging plant for field boundaries. And as the cycle turns, their fruit turns blood red, slowly darkening as autumn shifts into winter time. And this is a good time to pick them for their autumn medicine, the time of fungi, nuts and fruits. And the berries are enjoyed by many birds and they often do stay on the plant over winter. And the haws are what I used for the medicine that I am making today. So if you don't know what oxmels are, they're quite a simple old herbal medicinal preparation made up of honey and vinegar. The Latin word oxmeli literally means acid and honey. Rose hips are very high in vitamin C and they're quite a powerful cold and flu preventative. I also just love how the colours of the haws and the hips kind of melt together and they're both these different shades of red. And because I wanted to add a little bit more and I didn't have quite enough, I used some frozen elderberries that I still had, which are also great for your immune system. And then I also added some buckthorn berries. Um, so this beautiful oxmel medicine is filled with goodness to not only improve circulation but also support the immune system um it's full of antioxidants that boost immunity and um yeah hopefully help in uh, the cold season you can also add some spices for taste anything you like like cinnamon star anise cloves all sorts of things and then you just pour apple cider vinegar and after um, it's almost full, you add a little bit of honey. And there are lots of different ways of making oxmels, and this is just the way that I do it, but you can do a bit of research and see what you prefer. Shake it well and um, leave it in a dark place for about two to four weeks before straining um, your oxmel and then you can just take a spoon every now and then or every day. When it comes to um, hawthorn berry syrup, as with any syrup really, it's a very simple straightforward process. I used frozen berries I had for this and um, I still had to remove all the leaves and like some of the stalks but because you're going to strain it it doesn't really matter that much. I just added like about the same amount of water and then I left them to simmer on a low heat for about 15 minutes I think until they got quite soft and squishy and I used a fork to kind of squish them down um, as much as I could to get all the sort of goodness out of them and then I just strained it and added um, about the same amount of sugar and simmered it just a little while longer 
and the longer you bubble the syrup, the thicker it will get, but be careful you don't end up making it too thick. I used an old cough syrup bottle and yeah, I'll probably just be taking the syrup every day in winter because my circulation is not amazing <laughs> and I always have cold feet. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little medicine making video and I hope to see you again soon.